watching this video, two things could happen. Firstly, you're about to buy a hard shell case for your Mac. Another thing that can happen is that you spend your money on your hard shell case for your Mac, only then to regret your decision upon buying it because it looks kind of bad. Well, if that is the case, this video is for you because I am the victim of the second scenario. You see, I just bought an M1 Max MacBook Pro and to prepare for this expensive machine that I'll be using probably for the next four to six years, I bought quite a lot of accessories that I would need to go along with the entire experience. And among those decisions was to buy a hard shell case for my Mac. Now, through research on different articles on Reddit about hard shell case, it was a mixed opinion whereby some people say that the cons of the case is that it can damage your MacBook Pro, but I found out that that will only happen if you buy a very low quality case whereby the inner edge of the case is hard so that it can damage your MacBook Pro. But if you buy a good one, it won't actually affect that. And another thing that I found out is that the case can make your MacBook look kinda ugly, but it depends on the kind of case that you chose for your Mac. However, on the other side of the argument, the case is proven to be effective in protecting the laptop or the MacBook from physical damages like scratches, impact from falls and hits, and also the general wear and tear from using it. And seeing all of those pros, I totally agree with the ideas of having a case for your Mac. With my previous laptop, the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro, there were quite a lot of minor scratches and dents on it and a general wear and tear. And I've been using that laptop for nearly three years. Because of all of those bad conditions on my Mac, I decided to put a sticker, a carbon sticker on it to hide all of those scratches. But it still doesn't change the fact that the inner layer of it is kind of filled with general wear and tear and scratches. And that is why with my new M1 Max, the brand new laptop, I decided to make a different decision. I decided to buy a $20 case, which is a carbon design for my journey upon using it. Because I believe the case will be better for me in the long run. And immediately after buying it, I felt the regrets and the pain inside of me. You may ask me, why? What happened? Well, my initial thought after getting the case out of the package is that it looks ugly and that I do not like the feel of the case. Plus, I saw a lot of fingerprints on the case and it just made me regret the $20 that I spent on the case. But hold on now and there's a big but. Because it seems like all of those problems that I've encountered immediately after getting the case out of the package was only there when I unpackaged the case. Because now that I've used it for about nearly two weeks, all of those problems have been resolved. The fingerprint issue, the feel of the case, it sort of got better. So uh, it led me to think that it must be the effects of the case being freshly packaged out. So when I touched it, there were a lot of fingerprints, but now that I've been using it for about two weeks, you know, it is exposed to air a lot more. There is not really any fingerprints on the case itself. So it looks really clean. And now I changed my opinion. I really like the case a lot. And from my viewpoint, after using it for about two weeks, the case is absolutely solid. It doesn't affect my laptop in any way, and I believe it will be better for me in the long run upon using it. Initially, my thought was that I kind of wish the case would allow the Apple logo at the back to pop up, but now that I've used it, I kind of like it being anonymous, whereby it makes the laptop feel like it is encased with cabin. And also, it is a 16-inch MacBook Pro. So when I go into the cafe, for example, I open it up, it sort of brought a lot of attention because you're bringing a big screen into your vicinity where you're working at a cafe. So having that Apple logo being hidden before I kind of wanted to pop it right now, I, I really like it. It doesn't make me stand out. It just allow me to blend in with the other people, you know, working and doing my task smoothly with no attentions on what I am doing. Because when I first got it with no case, I went into a cafe, I opened it up, it felt as if a lot of people who walked by, they see the MacBook Pro, they see the silver color, they just took a glance on it. And I don't really like it, which is why having the case on, making it very anonymous, I absolutely enjoy it. The experience of using it at a cafe, in public area, I love it. So all in all, what is my opinion on the case? Well. I really like it. And it was definitely a good decision to buy it. Because in the long run, the case will definitely help me a lot, especially in maintaining the condition of my Mac. But I do understand your sentiment if you don't like the case because you want to have that original look on your Mac. Or maybe you can buy a transparent case instead. But for me, transparent case is not my thing. I don't really like it. But hey, we have different opinions, right? Anyway, 
Hopefully you enjoy this video and you know understand my take as to why I have the case and maybe you can compare my opinion with yours. Leave it in the comment section down below. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks, goodbye and peace.